Today, masculinity is often misunderstood and misrepresented, sometimes even labeled as toxic or inherently evil. While it's true that men have the capacity for harmful behavior, genuine masculinity embodies nobility, courage, and kindness. In their book King, Warrior, Magician, Lover, Rediscovering the Archetypes of the Mature Masculine, Robert Moore and Douglas Gillette delve into the four archetypes of masculinity, offering a comprehensive look into the male psyche. They highlight both the positive and shadow sides and sides of each archetype, providing a balanced perspective on what healthy masculinity looks like. Defining each archetype will inform us on what to seek and what to avoid when choosing whom to date or when evaluating a current boyfriend. We see a plethora of these types in entertainment today, from movies, books that could be used as examples. By learning each of the male archetypes, we'll be equipped to understand the men in our lives more and be able to make wiser dating choices. 1. The Warrior, Action, Discipline, and Devotion The warrior archetype represents a man who is confident, skilled, and driven by a higher purpose. His life is marked by discipline and a strong sense of responsibility. Often found in careers involving conflict and power, such as the military or government, the warrior is strategic, quick-thinking, and prepared for any challenge. However, if these traits are not balanced, the warrior can become emotionally detached, prioritizing his goals over relationships and potentially engaging in harmful behaviors. He is aware of his emotions, but does not let them control his actions. Warrior knows when to stand his ground and when to yield, always with the intent of achieving a higher purpose. Shadow side of warrior, sadistic warrior. With too much warrior energy, a man becomes aggressive, taking pleasure in hurting others and losing sight of the greater cause. Masochistic warrior. With too little warrior energy, he becomes self-destructive, losing boundaries and drifting into self-loathing. We can see warrior archetypes in movie heroes like Achilles from Troy, Thor from the Marvel movies, and Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher. Two, the magician knowledge and wisdom. The magician is characterized by his deep inner knowledge and a relentless pursuit of understanding. He is a creator, constantly generating new ideas and seeking deeper meanings. Known for his diplomatic nature and psychological insight, the magician thrives in fields such as medicine, science, and the arts. However, the shadow side of the magician can manipulate and deceive using his knowledge for personal gain and harboring a cynical view of the world. The magician's energy is crucial for personal growth and transformation, providing the clarity needed to navigate life's complexities. Shadow side of magician, detached manipulator. With too much magician energy, a man overthinks, becomes paranoid, and tries to control outcomes, leading to analysis paralysis. The dummy, with too little magician energy, he becomes forgetful and unresponsive, unable to think or act effectively. Contemporary examples of magician archetype is Bran Stark from Game of Thrones, Sherlock Holmes, Leonardo da Vinci, Walter White from Breaking Bad. Three, the lover cultivates desire, passion, and joy. The lover archetype is embodied by artists, musicians, and poets. Passionate and expressive, the lover seeks to experience and create beauty in the world. He values romance and deep sensual experiences, often viewing life with a larger-than-life perspective. However, the shadow lover can become self-indulgent, lacking self-control and commitment, leading to self-destructive behaviors. Shadow sides of lover-addicted lover. With too much lover energy, a man becomes hedonistic, pursuing pleasure at the expense of responsibilities. Impotent lover. With too little lover energy, he becomes emotionally numb, unable to connect or find joy. Contemporary examples of lovers are Romeo from Romeo and Juliet, Jack from Titanic movie. Four, the king, order and judgment. The king is the epitome of positive masculinity, integrating the qualities of the warrior, magician, and lover. He creates order out of chaos, leads with wisdom and compassion, and provides a safe and nurturing environment for his loved ones. The king is patient, controlled, and inspires others to reach their full potential. However, the shadow king can become tyrannical, ruling through fear and manipulation, driven by a need for power and control. King always remembers the sacrifices of his ancestors and honors them, 
seeing himself as a small part in a larger story of loving sacrifice and service. Shadow side of the king, tyrant king. With too much king energy, a man becomes tyrannical, acting out of paranoia and jealousy and intimidating others to maintain control. Weakling king, with too little king energy, he becomes indecisive and abdicates responsibility, leading to chaos and instability. Contemporary examples of King are Aragorn from Lord of the Rings, Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead, Thomas Shelby from Peaky Blinders. Understanding these archetypes can transform how we perceive masculinity and help us make wiser choices in our relationships. Remember, healthy masculinity thrives alongside healthy femininity. Ladies, can you recognize these archetypes in the men you meet in your daily life? Do you see the warrior, magician, lover, or king in your partner or someone you know? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content. If you have any questions or want to discuss how these archetypes play out in relationships, feel free to leave a comment. Let's explore these fascinating dynamics together.